So we're talking about moles, concentration, and titration calculation. What is a mole? A mole is just a number, like a dozen. A dozen means 12. How many is two dozen? So it's 2 times 12, 24. Half a dozen is 6. A mole is just a number. It's just a very big, big number. A mole is 6.023 times 10 to the power 23. So written out in full, this becomes this large horrible number down here. So we use standard form to show it in a nice manageable way. 10 to the power 23. That means the decimal place has moved 23 jumps. So before we move on to looking at moral equations, we have to be clear on what MR and AR mean. So these are pretty much the same term. They are a way of looking at something called relative formula mass. AR is when you've got single elements, and MR is when you've got a molecule or a compound. The AR, the way to find it, is to look at the periodic table. The AR is simply the mass in the periodic table. The mass is just always the biggest number. So in hydrogen, you can see the biggest number is 1, so it has an AR of 1. Carbon, the biggest number is 12, so it has an AR of 12, and oxygen 16. If you want to work out the MR, so MR is for a molecule, this is a molecule, you just add up all of the ARs. So in this example for the carbon dioxide, I've got one carbon, which is 12, plus two oxygens, so that's 16 plus 16, so it equals 44. So the equation that you need to know is mass equals Mr. Moles. So a nice easy way to remember it, mass equals Mr. Moles. You won't be given this in your exam like physics. You have to remember this. You also need to know how to rearrange this. So you may want to have moles equals or MR equals. The video for that has already been done by Mr. Huck. So here's a question. Work out the mass of two moles of CO2. So all you have to do is first write down the equation and rearrange in the correct form, as is done here already, and then enter in the values. So we've got two moles, so we write in two here, times the MR. Now we worked out the MR of CO2 before, we worked out the ARs of carbon, oxygen, and we added it together and it turned out to be 44. So it becomes 44 times 2, which gives you a mass of 88 grams. Okay, so this is a quite a challenging question. If you can do this one, you can do pretty much all of them. So how many atoms are there in 20 grams of water? Now the key to pretty much all of these questions is working out moles. So first off, we've got to work out the moles. So we have to rearrange this equation for moles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by MR to get moles on its own. So what that leaves me with is mass divided by MR equals moles. <coughs> now, let's put the numbers in. I know the mass is 20. I don't know the MR. Let's work out the MR. What's water? Well, I know water is H2O. So if I go to my periodic table, I can find out that the AR of, water, of hydrogen is 1, so I've got 1, plus 1, so I have 2 of them, plus 16 for oxygen. So the total MR for H2O is 18. <coughs> so 20 divided by 18 equals 1.111. Now, that is my number of moles. I've got 1.111 recurring. How many atoms are there? Well, one mole has 6.023 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So all I do is just times that by that number. So I go 1.111 times 6.023 times 10 to the 23. And that should come out as 6.69.
times 10 to the 25th. <clears throat> the other equation you need to be able to deal with is this one involving concentration. Whenever you get a question which has a volume and a concentration, you may have to use this equation, almost certainly will have to. So a volume, you can tell it's a volume, volume because you'll see something like cm cubed, as well as numbers. The units for these different things. So first we have moles. The units for moles are simply moles. The unit for concentration is moles per dm cubed. The unit for volume is dm cubed. To work out between cm cubed and dm cubed, you have to divide by a thousand. So in the question, if they are saying you have 25 cm cubed, to convert it into dm cubed, you just divide by a thousand. So 25 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.025 dm cubed. 1 dm cubed equals 1000 cm cubed. So in this question they've asked how many moles are there in 50 cm cubed of 0 0.5 molar HCl? Molar and molarity are just another word for concentration. So it's saying the concentration of this hydrochloric acid is 0 0.5. Just a quick word on units for concentration. You may see them written slightly differently. You may see them written like this. Moles per dm cubed to the minus 3. This and this are exactly the same. This is just a different way of writing it. So to answer this question, I just need to put in the numbers into the equation. Concentration, molarity, is 0 0.5 times the volume. However, the volume that I've been given is in cm cubed, but it has to be in dm cubed. So I simply divide this by 1000 to give me the answer in dm cubed. Pop that into a calculator and it will give you your moles, which comes out as 0 0.025. And the units for this is moles. Okay, so in this question it says, what is the mass of 25 cm cubed of sodium hydroxide in a 2 molar solution? This is pretty much as hard as it gets, because what they've asked you to do is work out mass, but mass is in a separate equation to volume and concentration. First off, the key to these questions is working out moles, because you'll notice that moles is in, are in both equations. So first off, we need to work out the moles. So moles equal concentration times volume. The concentration is 2 molar, so 2 times the volume. Remember the volume has to be in dm cubed, so I must divide that by 1000, which comes up to 0 0.025. Pop that into a calculator, and you get 0 0.05 moles. Right, I've worked out the moles, I now need to work out the mass, so I use the other equation. Mass equals Mr. Moles. I've got my moles. It's from here. 0 0.05. But I need the MR. You always have the MR because you know the formula for your chemicals. So you just use the periodic table. You find out that the AR of this one is 23. Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. Add those all together and you find that the MR, so the total 
MR is 40. We pop that in here, and it just becomes 40 times 0 0.5, which comes out as 2. And the unit for mass is grams, so 2G. So titration calculations can get pretty nasty. We're going to do another video explaining how titrations work and how to describe them, but for now this is just the maths behind it. So the question asks, work out the concentration of 25 cm cubed hydrochloric acid, HCl, when it fully reacts with 27.5 cm cubed or 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide. So we're trying to work out the concentration of this unknown here. The first step in these equations is to always write out the equation. So you've got HCl plus sodium hydroxide, and that forms water plus sodium chloride. You do need to know this. This is from your acid base in C1. What you need to notice straight away is that the ratio between this and this is the same. We don't actually draw it in, but there is a theoretical 1 here and a 1 here. If you don't see any numbers, it just means there's 1. So there's a 1 to 1 ratio, and it's incredibly important. Right, the way I do this is like this. I write down underneath, I write down the equation, and underneath I write down concentration, volume, and moles. And moles is the key. Then I enter in all the information that I know. Well, I'm told the volumes for both of them. I've got 25 cm cubed of this, and I've got 27 cm cubed of this. 0.5. Next, work out the concentration. Well, right, sorry, write down the concentration that you know. You know 1.5. This is 1.5. It tells you here, which is moles. Dm cubed. What we want to work out is this, so we call it x. Step one, work out the moles for the thing that you have two values for. For sodium hydroxide we have both the concentration and the volume, therefore we can work out the moles. <coughs> Remember, moles equals concentration times volume. Concentration is 1.5, and the volume in dm cubed is 0 0.0275. Remember, divide by 1,000. This comes out as 0 0.04125 moles. If I enter this in here, I can now compare it to my HCl. There is a one-to-one -one ratio. What that means is every one of these reacts with one of these. If I have two of these, it will react with two of these. If I have half of this, it will react with half of this. If I have 0.04123, it will react with 0 0.04125. So it's this, therefore the moles of HCl, which is reacted, is the same as the sodium hydroxide. Right, I can now work out X because I have moles and I have volume. We're going to use the same equation, but we're just going to rearrange it. We want to work out concentration. So what I do is I take the volume over the other side. So it becomes moles divided by volume equals concentration. If you notice that moles have a unit of mole and volume have a unit of dm cubed, it makes sense that the, the unit for concentration is moles per dm cubed. Let's put the numbers in. So, moles, we've got 0 0.04125 divided by the volume. Remember to divide by 1000, it becomes 0 0.04125. Put that into a calculator and it comes out as 1.65 moles per dm.
aqui.